Hi, my name is Brant. I'm uh, here at Milwaukee Makerspace. It's uh, Tuesday, approximately 10.04 p.m., uh, December 6, 2011. I'm here to demonstrate our latest addition to Milwaukee Makerspace, the uh, laser cutter venting system. Here's our relatively new laser cutter setup. Uh, we've got a computer off to the right there and down below. Uh, and we use Corel Draw or Inkscape or something to uh, send the images and uh, import them and then send them out to the laser cutter, which is more or less a printer. Uh, we can use that pretty much as a printer. And uh, it just uses a printer driver, which is pretty awesome. So what happens is if we're engraving or cutting plastic, it creates some nasty fumes. So what we're going to be doing is uh, hooking up this device that will take a motor and uh, run a vacuum so we can actually vent those nasty fumes out of the back here. And uh, that right there is the motor. And the problem is that motor is three-phase, and we don't have three-phase power available. Uh, it's a half-horse uh, vacuum pump. It pulls about two PSI. So we have that motor hooked up to this arrangement of electronics. And to just walk through this, we've got it all plugged into a regular wall outlet, 110 voltage, single phase. That goes into this transformer here. And this transformer ramps it from 110 single phase up to 220 single phase. The 220 goes into the variable frequency drive we have here. And this converts it from AC to DC back to AC so we can run the motor. And this actually creates three phase power. So when I turn it on, what happens is I'm using 110 wall voltage to run a three phase motor and actually pull a vacuum. And we've got all these hoses hooked up from the back of the laser cutter to the pump, up a system of PVC pipes that we put together. And what we're going to eventually do is vent all this out to a safe place so that the noxious fumes and everything can dilute themselves. And right now all it does is go over here and blow some air on that beam and push all the dust out of it. But soon it'll go up that hole and up into the loft and we'll vent things off over there.